Guys, what's going on? It's Carter, and it is a beautiful morning here in San Francisco, and I hope everyone's having a great day. I just found a brand new code, and I reached out to the guy, and we've been talking, and uh, I think this is a this is an awesome fit for, for the list, for the site, and for everything we're trying to do together. And so what I want to do right now is I'm going to walk through this code a little bit and show you some of the insights that I've found. And I'm going to show you how this code can make you a lot of money very quickly because of the way it's built and the way it's set up. And then I'm also going to give you some ideas on how you can take this and take it to the next level. And there's a lot of really cool stuff that's baked into this code. And we're going to try to walk through all of it. And whatever I don't get to in the video, it'll be in the article. Um, so read through this whole thing. Check it out. Uh, it's, it's really cool. Uh, I really like it. So some of you might have seen this. It's been on uh, one or two of those marketplaces kind of you know, here and there, and it's it's called the, uh, I think it's like a Hobbit runner game. Um, and what's sweet about this game is that it's an endless runner game, but it is, um, it's, it's really well built. There's a lot to it and it's really well designed, which is sweet. Um, and so I'm just gonna run this um, just so you guys can see it. <clears throat> and so you see right off the bat, I mean the, uh, so this is RevMob, it comes up right at the start, and I'm gonna get to why this is really important, how this guy laid it out. But you get RevMob right off the bat, which is great for the full screen. So you're going to get all that, uh, uh, you know, on-screen ECPM, big numbers, which is great. So I'm just going to close that. And then you also see that this is Game Center. I'm not logged in right now, um, so I'm just going to disable it. But then we, we go right into it. Um, then there's music in the background, um, but I've turned it off just because so you can hear it better. And I'm going to walk through this all right now. So you can see this is really cool, like... Something about it is kind of like fantasy, kind of fun. There's a little bit of a jetpack joyride thing going on here. Uh, I think there's a lot There's a lot you can do with this, a lot of different ways to design this. Um, but right off the bat, so you had RevMob to start, and now you've got this banner here, which is AdMob. And so AdMob is a banner uh, network. And the reason for AdMob is that this is written in Cocos 2DX. And so for anyone who doesn't know uh, what Cocos 2D is, it is the gaming engine that uh, a majority of, games are built on right now. It's It's been around for a little while and their next evolution is called Cocos 2DX. And what the X stands for is cross-platform. So as you can imagine, what that means is this game is not only going to be an iOS app, it is going to be, you can port this right over to Android. So you don't need to have like a Unity source code or anything like that. This game, as it stands, you design it and then you can tweak it a little bit and then you can export it straight to Android. So right off the bat, uh, you're getting essentially two platforms built into this one source code, which is pretty phenomenal since you don't need to hire a new programmer. All the redesign can be done by your original Cocos 2D guy, and you just need to export it to, to Android. Uh, and that opens up a whole new uh, set of publishing and marketing possibilities and can really uh, cut your overall you know, risk down because you have so many more places to market your app. And so the reason I say that is because AdMob is going to be compatible both for iOS and for Android. And you know, if you use something like a mediator, maybe like a MoPub or something like that, you can you can put that in. But you know, AdMob is just the the easiest to do right off the bat. Um, and this is literally one line of code. There's a there's an ID in the Xcode, and it you just pop it right in, and then those banners are now yours. So it's cool. And what's also great about this is a lot of you have have started to understand the power of multiplayer, and this code is you know, front and center is Nextpeer. Um, Nextpeer seems to be, uh, a, a, you know, multiplayer SDK of choice for a lot of us, and it, it works really well. It's, it's had some really successful games, um, and that's that's right off the bat. So, you know, you can be rest assured that that's already integrated, which is a huge, huge, not only cost, but it's a time saver uh, for a lot of us out there who, who want to put it in, but, you know, it might be the first time, or you know, they know it's going to take another couple hundred bucks or a couple a couple of days. That's already built in, which is which is pretty amazing. Um, we'll get to the play in a second, and then what's also great about this is there's a store, and so with the Retina graphics um, on a Retina screen, you'll see this. And I wasn't going to do a Retina simulator just because it would take up too much of the screen, but you can see what this guy did is it's a um, it's a currency model, and in flipping apps, building a currency system is really important. Uh, because it can, it allows people to spend a lot more money. And so what he did here is he, he actually has these you know coin amounts that you can buy in the store as as purchases, and then you can redeem them for power ups. 
Um, so you can get like a laser gun and a magnet and you know all this awesome like just really cool stuff that you can you can redeem the coins for um, and you also get coins as you play the game more and <clears throat> or shells I guess he calls them and then there's a restore button so you can you can remove your ads and then you can restore all the purchases um, this is just like um, you know for iOS you have to put this in now it's part of the part of the developer agreement so that's pretty cool so that whole that art that's already built in the entire store and this is something that I usually add to my games. Uh, once I buy the code that I like, I'll add a store like this. But this is already hard, like it's all built in, which is pretty amazing. There you go. See the music's coming through a little bit. I'm just gonna turn that off. And so right here, I'll just you know, same same thing. This is the you know a game center integration. Looks like an achievement icon. So you can integrate this into however you want. Um, you'll see as we play. There's some leaderboard or high score callouts. Also got your Facebook and your Twitter integration, which is which is really great if you're building a brand or you want to leverage this across some some extra marketing. Um, it's all it's all there for you. you. Just pop in your own credentials. And then finally, I'm not going to click on this because it takes us to a um, an external website. But there's a more games button, and you can you can swap in, let's say a Play Haven or a Chart Boost more games menu very easily in the code. So you just replace the uh, using a uh, a call to a URL that will open up Safari, and you can just put in your more games button. So right off the bat, I mean, we're looking at we're looking at what we're looking at. One most importantly, in my opinion, is that this whole thing is cross-platform, and we can everything you do on this one design can automatically be put on Google Play or any other Android store with a few tweaks, and that's huge. I mean, that's that's a big next step for a lot of people. And even if you don't do that porting, if you just do iOS, you're still looking at an awesome code. The multiplayer is really helpful, and it's just going to save you a lot of time and money, and it's a best practice thing to do now. It's got the whole store built in with a currency model, which is exactly what you want to do. The More Games button is here, and you just got to swap in your own More Games functionality. And it's got some social media and Game Center integrations over here. So right off the bat, this thing is just, it's primed to run. And in a lot of this is just going to be swapping out their IDs with your own IDs, and, and that's it. And then all you have to do is really focus on the design. So let's play the game. Let's let's just see how it goes. And there's a lot you can do. And if there's any lag, I apologize because that's just how the the simulator runs on my computer. It tends to have some lag. And so right there, I died. And it says new high score. And here you go. I mean, we've all seen this. This is a charge boost ad. And what I really like about what this guy did is that the, the opening screen is RevMob, but then the second screen is chart boost. And chart boost is going to be a little bit less of a hard sell. I mean, obviously the the click through rates and the install rates are going to be a little lower. Maybe not install rates, but the click-through rates can be a little lower, but it's going to burn out your customers a lot less than if you if you put RevMob here. Um, so for the long term, this can work really, really well. And so you just swap in your ID like everything else, and you also see uh, AdMob get served up here again. So you get a, you get an entirely second session off of the off the gameplay, which is pretty great. And then right here, which is even odd, I love this. He actually puts a no ads button right here. So when you see the ad and you're like, oh gosh, I, I you don't even have to go back to the home screen. It's already there. And that's all baked into the, the in-app purchase. And then you've got, you know, your Twitter account. you got your, your game center. And you go back and, you know, you get your high score. And you play it again. Okay, I'm going to play it again. And um, like I said, on the simulator, it's a little clunky just because I, um, that's just how the simulator runs on my computer for some reason. Um, but you can see, like, this is kind of like a, it's like a mix between Jetpack Joyride and an Endless Runner game, right? It's just like, it's really cool because especially when you get these power-ups going, you can you can have a lot of fun with it and you can start to really get better at it. It's there's a there's a piece of the gameplay that's a little like kind of addictive that where you want to get better. Um, and I it's it's hard to describe what exactly that means, but I can tell you from a from a gameplay and a uh, retention standpoint that's very very helpful because you're going to get people to play it at least a few times where they can see how much better they're getting. Um, and that's that's pretty much it. It's it's a really, really great code. Uh, I actually went through the code itself and, and vetted the Cocos 2DX, um, you know, just took a few snapshots of the code and it's really clean. Uh, when you build it and compile it, there's very few errors. So uh, this is gonna run on, on pretty much any device, any iOS um, within reason, you know, down to probably five and 4.3 or whatever it may be. But uh, it looks awesome, and more importantly, um, this is a really, it's just a great place to start, and the 
their graphics files um, are very well laid out and it's easy to redesign. So I think it's a it's a really great one. I, I I've been searching a lot, and this is one that I thought was a really good a good place to start. And I wanted to get this in front of you and walk through it with everyone, um, just so you can see how this all works. Um, so yeah, uh, read the rest of this article. I'll go into a little bit more detail about what I just talked about. Um, but I think it's great, and I hope that this helps a lot of people get hit the ground running and um, save a bunch of time, and hopefully save you a lot of money so you can go out and make a lot of money. All right, I'll talk to you guys soon.